I may have something wrong with me, but I love me a little bit of lug slap in the morning. You can just listen to it. Oh, yeah. That'll get you there. That's an entire bumper cut out. I had a couple issues. Uh, most likely it's cause of me being a tight ass and trying to use as much of the plate as I can. I got a little close on that far end and some of the flange pieces that I was cutting, the plasma cutter actually dropped off the plate on one of the ends, so they didn't actually cut fully. I had one drive error. I'm not really sure what that's about. Most likely that's because I was splashing water right where those, you know, flanges were cutting out and it got on the power strip and created a fault. That's what I'm going with. All right, so now we just got to put that stuff together. Okay, we got all of our pieces cut out. Uh, so now I got to take the dross off of it. If you guys aren't familiar with plasma cutting, it leaves a little bit of dross on the backside. If you don't clean that off, there's a good chance it'll end up as porosity inside your welds. I'm just hitting that with this wire wheel. It's just the cup wire wheel. Hit the edge so the wire wheel is actually pushing this dross off the corner. And then for the really hard stuff, like sometimes the pierce will leave a little bit more dross than normal. I'll just hit it with this uh, this is a 100 grit sandpaper on an air sander. You could do the same thing with a flat disc on your grinder, but I don't have another grinder. So this is what I'm using. So this is before. And this is after. See, here's the pierce point right here. That spot's all right. I got the dross off of that. But yeah, I'm doing this for every piece that I cut out. I'm gonna get all these parts cleaned up and uh, we'll start welding this thing together. Got an issue here. We've got this bent 90 degrees. This is the tail light section. So the tail light goes here. 
You got that bent 90 degrees, but it's leaving a gap between those. It's like an eighth inch gap behind there. Pretty much the same there. Not the end of the world. If I can't close that gap, then I might just cut these ears off and then just weld the whole piece in. But the way it's cut, these two corners should meet. I'll fold the rest and see what happens. this tab off or we weld it but no big deal looks pretty good though I kind of show you guys what I'm doing here so you can see these tabs right here they're pretty thick I've been grinding pretty much all the way through this tab leaving about a 16th maybe even like a 32nd uh, from this outside edge that way when I bend this these two inner edges will meet the way these tabs are set up now if I was to just bend this now it would leave a giant gap right down the center and that's not good that's not the way i designed it so so that's pretty much what that tab looks like beforehand and that's what it looks like after you can see it's pretty thin so i'm doing that for all the tabs any of these folding sections
inside, guys. Let's go stick around the Jeep and see what it looks like. Are you guys ready to see this? I'll catch you guys next week. <laughs> Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Oh, man. Well, this is turning out way better than I expected it was going to. You know, I've had some issues with, you know, the tabs and everything being too thick and having too much of a gap in some areas, but after a little bit of fitting and stuff, it fits pretty well. You know, we're following this edge you know, that seam pretty well. There's like a three-eighths to a quarter-inch gap across that. The hitch is kind of sitting in there cockeyed, and I think my machine kind of, it cuts diamond shapes instead of squares a little bit. But it's a little bit of filing on both sides that should be able to straighten that up. The D-rings fit, so that's good. Um, it's a little close to the lift gate right here. Got a small gap between the uh, tail light, but I designed that so I can run another 3 16 plate on the driver's side, and that's kind of where the uh, that's kind of where the hinge mounts. The top of the hinge mounts to that side, so this gap will be here no matter what. But the sides looking good. All the gaps, you know, I'm not having. Huge gaps anywhere. The only big gap I got, just because I wanted to bring the whole bumper up, I decided to kind of grind off down here and pull the whole bumper up. So I got a little bit of a gap there, but that shouldn't be a problem just to fill in. And you can see I got the same gap on this side. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So next up, now that we got this right side all ironed out, I wanna turn my attention to the left side here. Um, kinda put it together now that I know the right side works, the left side should turn out a lot better. So let's get to working on that. Just to think, two weeks ago, that was just in my brain. it up still fighting porosity issues for whatever reason I haven't really figured that out but 
What's left from here is just to grind it down and we got ourselves a bumper. been sanding on this bumper for four days now. I think I'm done. Whew. Let's take a look at this bumper. So here it is guys, my first attempt at the rear bumper. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I kind of underestimate how much the uh, metal finishing, you know, grinding down all the welds and stuff, how long that was going to take because I literally spent four days grinding on this thing. But I think it turned out pretty good. I did leave the hole for the latch. Um, unfinished just because I don't know the height of the actual latch. I'll just fill that in when we do the spare tire carrier. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it looks really good. I'm gonna wait to paint it and everything because I think I'm actually gonna paint the front bumper as well. So, you know, the paint pretty much just matches. Plus, I wanna wait until I have the tire carrier all ironed out. But that's gonna do it for this video. Next video, we're gonna start on the spare tire carrier and all that. We can actually get this project finished and uh, actually start carrying my spare again. But I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.